Howdy folks, it's Angel the Hunting Gear Guy. I want to show you guys this Howling Raven uh, muzzle brake for the Mosin Nagant 9130. Now before I start, empty gun, empty chamber. I'm going to first go through uh, some of the design features of this and then I'm going to talk a little bit more about um, why you'd use it and when you'd use it uh, in application. Now you see here that I have the brake on my rifle. I'm just going to take it off and you do so with these brass set screws. The brass will keep the uh, keep it from marking the metal that's underneath. I just have mine on loosely right now. If you're going to put yours on permanently, I'd recommend uh, putting some Loctite on here or something just to keep it on there permanently. And uh, you know, every Mosin is going to be different. With mine, this is a, a fairly nice, uh, clean fit. It's not at all wobbly, and it's very nicely fit to my barrel. Let me just chuck my rifle off the side here. Now we're looking at this brake itself. Now this brake, um, it only vents to the top. Um, that has been designed in for this for this brake, so it is specific for that. So if you want something that um, will break evenly and not kick your rifle down, this isn't it. Uh, but this is one of the most inexpensive uh, muzzle brakes for the Mosin, and one of the beefiest. Um, I'll show you the back here. You can see just how thick this is. This is steel here, so this isn't aluminum or anything like that. And you can see here that we've got a very large surface and large like locking lug that kind of goes around the back of the sight here. So this is not uh, this is not going to be the weakest point on your rifle by any means. You can see these big ports here and these do an excellent job of uh, really reducing the recoil on this rifle and uh, really keeping it from uh, instead of recoiling d uh, back and up to recoiling down. Uh, now if you're shooting off the bench this is going to be perfect. Um, if you're shooting offhand, what it does is um, really uh, drive the rifle down and really reduce the recoil on this thing. So now you can see there's the front. You can see just how thick that metal is. Um, this isn't like a, a, a real cheap and chintzy um, brake here. And you can see just on the design, it's got kind of some of these kind of cool little slash marks on it. And again, flat, clean bottom on the bottom here. So if you end up uh, shooting this prone on dirt or something like that, you are not going to kick up dust because all of the venting is basically going up the top. It's kind of like a V8 almost where it's got these four holes on each side and it's kind of pointing up. Now one of the big reasons why, I, I think I've had this rifle for about two years, and I've, I still have the majority of an 800 round uh, uh, case of ammo that I have for it, is that this thing just sucks to shoot at the range. Anyone that I hand it to, um, 20 rounds is about the most they want to shoot. And the primary reason is it's not that the, the cartridge is that big, or that the rifle is that light, it's that the butt stock and the butt plate are just not very ergonomic. Um, you know, we're, we're talking about something, if you can look at that buttstock there, that was more designed not to break down in the trenches of, uh, you know, uh, uh, warfare back when this rifle was designed. Um, you could buttstroke a lot of people with this and it's not going to break, but the other the thing it is going to do is kind of punish your shoulder because it, it doesn't fit really well, at least in my shoulder, and uh, it Mine has these sharp edges on the metal butt plate, and uh, it kind of it kind of sucks shooting from prone or shooting from a bench. Standing, it's fine. You can hold it. Uh, you can recoil with the rifle. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to do anything. But it's just like prone and from the bench, it just sucks. It's just not as that much fun to shoot um, at the range. Um, so here's here's why I think. Uh, this Howling Raven muzzle brake uh, would would be a really good addition on a, on a Mosin is you can now shoot full power ammo um, at the range and shoot a lot of it without really beating up your shoulder all that bad. Um, it's a, a little bit of a hefty weight here and we've got the, these uh, really efficient uh, ports that are on here so we're gonna really reduce the kick on a rifle and uh, and not beat up our, our shoulder at the same time so for those reasons, you know, if you're um, if you're hunting with your Mosin, I don't know if I'd put a muzzle brake on it. I'm, I'm not a big fan of, uh, of brakes on hunting rifles. But if you're going to go to the range with it a lot, or you're going to go out to gravel pits and, and that kind of thing and, and really blow a lot of ammo off, which I think the Mosin's great for because the rifle's so cheap and the ammo's so cheap, um, yeah, you know, this uh, these brakes go for right around $60, $70. So they're an inexpensive addition to it. And they're going to make it so that you can actually, like, hammer through some ammo in an afternoon and not 
beat the heck out of your shoulders. So um, if you're a, a, a frequent uh, range junkie or if you really like going to the gravel pit with your Mosin, um, maybe take a look at one of these Howling Raven muzzle brakes because uh, they'll save your shoulder.